Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm excited to be participating in the Would You Be Mine Hop. We are sharing inspiration for the upcoming Valentine holiday with projects that incorporate wood. At the top of the description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. I hope you take the time to watch all of the hop videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and click on that little bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. You can also use the hashtag would you be mine to find all of the videos in this hop. For my project, I'll be sharing a slimline Valentine's Day card using the products that you see here and these cute little wooden hearts. I'll be using the Whimsy Stamps Slimline Hearts Background Die and the Gnome One Like You stamp set. So let's get started. First, I'm cutting down a sheet of wood grain pattern scrapbook paper so that it will fit in my Gemini die cutting machine when I use my slimline die. This wood grain paper came in a paper pad I purchased from Michaels a while back. Next, I'm cutting down a piece of heavyweight 110 pound black cardstock and I'm trimming that down to seven and a half inches on the long side so that I can create my card base. I'm scoring it down the middle at three and a half inches. Now I flipped this over to check to see if my score line was in the same place, just to make sure that the edges were going to match up before burnishing it. Now one thing I want to mention about using colored or black cardstock as your base is that when you run the bone folder on the edge, it makes it shiny. It gives it a little bit of a glazed look, at least with the type of plastic bone folder that I'm using here that came with my scoreboard. But from what I understand, if you purchase a Teflon bone folder, it won't give it that glazed look. I'm going to be covering this up with my panel anyway, so I'm not really worried about it too much, but I wanted to share that with you in case you didn't know. So now I'll be running this through my Gemini die cutting machine. I've placed it face down, and now I have a bunch of little wooden paper hearts that I'll be using for a different project. I had originally trimmed my red piece of cardstock down thinking it was small enough, but because my die is eight and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches, I needed to trim it down to eight and an eighth of an inch by three and an eighth of an inch so that it would be hidden behind that wood grain panel there. So now I'm using the Gnome One Like You stamp set from Whimsy Stamps and I'm placing a piece of Nina Solar Y 80 pound cardstock into my Misty stamping positioner. And because this is a brand new stamp, I'm rubbing my fingers over it just to um, get that stickiness away and here I'm using some memento tuxedo black ink and because I'm going to be coloring this with some Copic markers it won't bleed using this type of ink. I'm applying some pressure using my microfiber towel and I like to do two coats just to make sure I have a good solid impression and for some reason I can't seem to hold on to my ink pad today. Does this happen to anybody else out there or is it just me being clumsy? I tend to do a lot of clumsy things when I craft. How about you guys? Okay, so now it's time to color. I'm gonna start with the hat and I've picked out three different shades of red, R39, R37, and R35. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color, which is coral, and I'm just gonna color in the whole hat. And then I'm gonna be adding the darker shades and kind of blending those together. So I'm not gonna talk much during this whole coloring process. I'll let you guys listen to some music, but I will list all of my Copic marker colors in the description box below, and I'll have those displayed on the screen as well. I also wanted to quickly mention that some of us might be offering prizes on our channels, so be sure to pay attention and watch the videos to the end for details, and also check out the description box for more information.
Now you may notice that sentiment there at the bottom left hand corner. Um, I stamped that out thinking I might use it, but I end up doing something different later. So now that I have this pretty much colored, I'm going to be running this through my brother's scan and cut machine to cut it out. And next I'm taking the Love You dies, the shadow dies from the Sizzix set. And I'm going to put the shadow on some white heavyweight cardstock and run that through my Big Shot. And this is a piece of that same red cardstock with some Sizzix adhesive sheets on the back. <laughs> Here I go flinging things around again. But I'm going to be running this through my Big Shot twice. The reason I'm using it with the adhesive sheets is so I don't have to try to put t glue on the little tiny letters on the back. So here I'm just assembling those and I'll be putting these on the front of my card here in a bit. So my original thought process with the sentiment was to cut out that gnome matter what sentiment that I stamped earlier, cut it out using a heart die but I ended up not doing that. I didn't use it. I didn't like the white. The, the, I wanted the white from the Love You, but I thought it kind of took away from the, the rest of the card. So here I've, I'm tracing one of the hearts with a pencil so that I can stamp that sentiment directly on this red panel instead. This heart was just big enough for this sentiment to fit inside. So I'll be stamping this also with some memento ink since I just have it out and ready. So now that I have this stamped, I'm going to make sure that it's in the right spot. And it is, so now it's time to assemble the card. So I'm going to glue all of these pieces down using some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. This is my favorite liquid glue. Gives me just enough time to kind of slide my panels exactly where I want them. And it dries clear so in case any seeps out, it won't mess up my card. I'm going to quickly erase those pencil marks. And I'm going to speed up my video even more to uh, apply the glue to the back of this panel since it's very intricate. Sorry, my head gets in the way a little bit here. I wanted to make sure I have it lined up correctly. While I'm gluing this down, I wanted to mention the giveaway that I'm doing here on my YouTube channel. I just recently reached 300 subscribers, and so to celebrate, I wanted to give back to everyone who has supported me by offering a chance to win the items that you see here in this picture. I just want to tell all of my subscribers how much I appreciate you watching, liking, and commenting on my videos and supporting me so far. Thank you very much. So to enter to win, like this video and subscribe to my channel, and in the comments below let me know where you're from, and tell me which card is your favorite that I've made and posted here on my YouTube channel so far. This giveaway is open to all viewers, I don't mind shipping internationally, and I will randomly select the winner the day after this hop ends, which will be February 7th, 2021. I will post the name of the lucky subscriber here on my channel, so make sure you turn on the notifications. So I put some 3D foam squares on the back of my gnome and here I am putting some liquid glue or glue dots depending on the size of those wooden hearts inside some of those open hearts on the panel. And here I've just cut down another piece of 80 pound cardstock to fit inside of the card and I am using some of those wooden hearts that were cut out from my slimline background die earlier. And to finish this off, I'm just coloring in the heart with a clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. And this is my finished card. I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below and give me a big thumbs up if you like it. Thank you so much for stopping by the Would You Be Mine video hop. And don't forget to check out the other participants. The information is in the description box below. Don't forget you can also find my work on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, as well as my website, cardsbykendra.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.